Good afternoon. We are here at the Hard Times playing field where they're having the village, the village Premier League, and I have brought some balls. Actually, sent for them from way back in Angola to present to um, Mr. Herbert for them to use in the competition. Now we have to tape them. There are 40 tennis balls here. I usually gather tennis balls while I was walking from the hotels and the tennis academy and used to distribute them to the school. So I had some at home and I figured it would be best to bring them here to make good use of them. So I'm presenting them to Mr. Herbert. And thank you, Frankie, for these balls. We reuse them in, in the best way we, we can. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you on behalf of the, the Hard Time Sport and Social Club. I thank you. You're yeah, most, most welcome. I hope the competition gets off to a good start. I know we had an exciting knockout last week. Yet to be t determined, right? Yeah. Okay, so you will let us know what's what. But do make good use and hope we have a wonderful competition. Okay, thank you. Right. Match. East 10th forfeited their game by not being able to field the team. And so the remaining cricketers put together, got two teams together and play in a six over competition. The first mixed team under the captaincy of the man Pluck. They feel that first and Oakle, the batting captain, the batting captain, they only made 26 so Pluck's team now has to make 27 to win this warm-up game. Uh, there is going to be the featured game later after the end of this one. Oh, a beamer! It's going to be called a, a no ball. High. And so now they have off the mark with one. First ball. So it's going to be free hit. A fun coming. He is now going around the wicket. Will this alter anything? Foolish delivery. And it is hit in to the wire. Border in the fence of the field. So that's free hit, bringing a six. So the score goes on to seven. We are looking to get 27 in order to win this game. Pluck's team, and Pluck was the man who struck that six. Oakle goes in now to bowl to Plaza, ah, drive up beautiful delivery, driving and missing. Ball goes through to the keeper, and uh, there, seven. I'm down, strikes, no. <laughs> Looking to take a cheeky single, but both batsmen changed their minds rather quickly, got back into their way. On the pads down the leg side, he tucks it away, and he runs away, gets two runs, score moves on to eight. Eight. You're back next, Nigeria. That's ten. Did this young fella get a single? No. There's nine. So nine without loss. Minus day one and day two. Two and six off the bat and the first ball and no ball. Here goes Smitten. In the ball to pluck. Down the leg side. One, one, one. Right. We won. Oh. Oh. Run, run. Wide signal. Score goes on to ten. Yeah. Almost a run out. Almost a run out. Gallant attempt. Retrieving the ball, trying to get back to the stumps, but he was too far away. Still in process. Shot into the offside. There's no one in that area. It brings John around to the right. Run again. 
get on the um the delivery in and so they've gone on to 10 12 Mike not on. Mike not on. <laughs> on drives beautifully into the onside. Brings him on deep mid around. around. Keith slides. He stumbles. He uh, staggers. He eventually gets to the ball. And so... <laughs> Fifteen over number one without loss. Looking to chase twenty-seven. Has been better than Van Radio's Fundy. None. <laughs> Van Radio's Fundy at celebration has always been the best. The, 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 the option was for you to do whatever sporting you wanted to do. The teams from St. Kitts especially used to come out rather strong and Brown, I think, was our first winner, and then we had a winner from St. Kitts, a second year winner. A number of years started early in the morning with a road race, and uh, then you got the domino competition, Big Big Roy. Big Roy Byron was the man responsible for that. Then we had the help of Jane settles on it. <laughs> he signals, he signals. With the finger on the lips. <laughs> oh, five field goals caught down deep on the long leg boundary. <laughs> oh, so 16 for one. Yes. Nice delivery there. Lured the batsman into pulling it into the onside. Beautiful catch, made to look very easy. In comes Fifield, now into ball to the young man. He twice as he that, he was wide. Now 16 for one, second. Smitten, smitten bowling. Oh, it's another smitten. Okay, all right. Oh, he plays a shot, but the ball was the better of him. He got a single, goes on now to 17 for one. He ran over number two. Looking to get 27. Pluck's team. Pluck is now going to face Smitten. Yeah, it goes, hooks at it, comes off the outer portion of the bat. They have run a single, they're going for the second run. Oh, nice effort. Run again, run again, run again. Nice effort. And no ball signal, so the score goes on to a 20. <laughs> 21 for one, over number two. Six runs needed. Yeah, I got, I got some down there. What, what in the bun? You got some there. Me left some pressure, you, you know, in case you want to do something. Yeah, right arm of Smitten. And the ball to Captain Pluck. Uh, he doesn't deliver. <laughs> the umpire focusing on telling him he almost bowled in the ball. He signaled that ball belatedly. In comes Smitten. Short delivery, pluck, flashing hard, trying to pluck across the line. Should have tried to go in through the offside, but instead, played across the line and missed. So it's 21 for one over number two. Yeah, uh, picture has grown here at hard times. Lush green trees around. You've got, and he goes down, tries to get under it, but it was the better of him. Almost yoked himself. Smitten. Goes back to his mark. Looking rather business-like. Turns. Comes into bowl pass. Umpires mucky. Charges delivery. It's a no ball again. And so and they've crossed for one, so 23. 
Number 23 for one. Over number two. Looking to get 27. Will it be over in this over? Young man hooks it hard and high, but the keeper settles under it, takes it, and so over a wicket number two goes. So 23, it is for two. Umpire, so that's 23 for two. Very, very, very serious. Very, very serious. He will get a big summons. <laughs> This time, Pluck pulls it into the onside all along the ground, brings the man from mid-wicket around, and 24 it is, one. Over number two comes to the end. We need three runs to win. Seems as if they're going to do it in three overs. Is this um, the opposite name to Sardine? Was it the name, the nickname? Oh, this one. Shock him. Right into that area where no one loves to be struck. <laughs> oh, almost bowled him. Slow delivery deceiving pluck this time. <laughs> he was backing away, expecting another short ball, but that wasn't to be. Went through to that's Wharton. Umpire Pitini passes this time. Flash a beautiful shot into the boundary for six. That's the end of the game. So it's 29 for two, 29 for two, Pluck's team, it's Captain Pluck taking home his team with a wonderful shot over the boundary for six. And so the end of the warm-up game, two mainstream teams are going to be coming. Um, it's going to be Jets. They, uh, well, we see. Well, it's the masquerade into bowl to Jets. <laughs> M to M. <laughs> Flash and missed. Masquerade keep ball into Morton. We have it's. I don't know the name of the team, but the initials are there. HFR Sports Team. Goals. Morton pulls it into the onside. They're running sharp, looking for two. He has already instructed his field batsman. Let's run two hard. So one without loss. Over number one. Uh, Keith Hubbard will be bowling to James. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. And there is no run. He played across the line and missed. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wide signal, goal goes on to two. Two without loss over number one. You understand the 12 over encounter? Mm. Keith goes away to bowl to James. Ah, it comes off the outer portion of the bat. Morton is off the mark quickly. And. <laughs> uh, the visitor feeling nicely. They were trying to attempt two, but he was on the ball. So it's three without loss over number one. He slaps into the onside, brings youngster up the mid-wicket region, and it comes off his hand. He picks it up cleanly, has gotten two, score goes on to five. Yeah. Five without loss. Over number one. Keith Robert goes into ball to Morton. Morton dabs this one beautifully. Hustling. 
he got to be a very fit man because he's looking to run everything. <laughs> Score goes on to six. Six. Without loss. Played in the days of old. Short white pants and your white shirt. Yeah. So he's just like the cricketers of old. They have got long on, deep mid wicket, deep backward square, forward of square. And Keith is shuffling his fielders around. He put in the men on the outside on the boundary. Keith himself is staying. There is Trey Cover. Extra cover boundary, a backward point boundary. Morton swinging and missing. Beats the, the keeper. And he's running. They're going there for three. The score goes on to 10. Shift the man from the backward point on the boundary to third man on the boundary. Sardine comes in the ball to James. James flicks and misses. Wide signal. So the score goes on. They plays and misses. Looking to get inside to pull him. Oh, Extras takes the score on to 12. 12 without loss. The HFR team. Outside the half stump. He allows it to go through. I think he needs to play his cricket in shots. Rather than just being playing around, he needs to play his cricket in shots because he's a good cricketer. Oh, comes Hardin in the ball to the young man. This time he comes off of the bat, came on the inside to try and put it into the boundary area. 13 without loss. Over number two. It is Hardin in the ball to Morton. What will he do this time? Morton trying to play. <laughs> That new shot everybody invents. <laughs> Playing the left-handed shot but missing. Yeah, slug sweep. Here comes Sardine into ball to Morton. 13 without last. Norton gets it into the boundary area. Martlin <laughs> just watches it, goes into the boundary. So it's 17 without last. And she just walks to pick it up. <laughs> oh, boy. Next one, Anke, next one, next one. Morton eagerly awaits. And this time he drives the strap, the left handed hook shot. And not the sweep this time, but he got a run, gone on to 15. Here comes Hardin into ball to young James. He hops onto it, plays it into the offside, runs for one, looking to get two. The Hawker is there. Yeah, John is about to bowl. He has his cap on. That's usually the thing these days with some cricketers. So he's going to be bowling to James. They're contemplating the debate about who's to feel where and who's to feel here, there, where. 
Oh my goodness. There's nobody down on the long leg boundary. The deep square, deep mid wicket. Widish long on, straight long on. Oh, down the leg side. Score goes on now. Nineteen without loss. <laughs> it goes in, passes on Piatini. Nice delivery. It goes down the left side and gets it into a boundary. One bounce into the boundary for four. Nice shot. <laughs> but I think the youngster could have made a better effort in coming around to feel that ball though. Young and exuberant, he needed to get around there quickly. Here goes John into ball to James. Down the leg side. He's running away to the boundary. The wicket keeper goes, collects. Run, run, run! So that's two extra there. Sneaking another one. Yeah, sneaking another one. <laughs> run, run! <laughs> They're really having fun and games with these cricketers. Utilizing their ages. They're trying to double up on them when it comes to getting the runs. Oh, that's three added to the score. Oh, almost. Almost getting a wicket. And Wow! Size so at the stump, my goodness. Crawling, crawling, rolling. <laughs> Fun and games they're having here with these seasoned players. Ageable. They bought the, they bought the guy messing up his whites. No ball signal. Here goes John. Over number three. It's it hard and high. Who will take it? And Keith settles under it. And so the young fella. Oh, it's a free hit. It's a free hit. <laughs> Bowler puts his hand on his hips. But it's only his fault. He bowled a no ball before. And so they had a free hit. He did a catch, but was to no avail. <laughs> oh man. He walks away. Chips now. Balls to Morton. Shot delivery. Morton hits it. This time goes between the gap. Four more runs. Goes into the gap. And they are having a feast here with this kind of bowling. <laughs> Well, he get a chance to settle. We'll wait and see. <laughs> Martin is having a a field day. John into ball to Morton. Good delivery, but this time again, this time he's gone. This time he's gone, and John claps. Got the better delivery, and Keith repeating the catch. That was it. <laughs> Oh, the fun and game for Morton is over. He was having a field day with these guys. No. And so the first wicket goes for Jets. We're in over number three. Keep trying the youngsters how to do it. Played cricket in his day. We were heading off to Canada. Yeah. So we. <laughs> well, we've got young. Well, very long over. One of the youngsters have chops it into the offside. Here go for one, going for two. Yeah. 
score now very long. You could see the sun beaming down on his skin. Oh, the perspiration is settling. He hits it. Into the deep liquidate boundary. Six runs for the youngster. That is meat and drink. Meat and drink for him. It is over number three. Very long indeed. Um, much longer than the second over. I was bold. Or the three. While keeping a little low, he came down hard on it. Gets it out to Keith. Keith is going to feel good, you know. It's going to feel good. Oh! John not collecting cleanly. A big chance of a run out. It's the end of over number three. So it's 45 for one at the end of number three. So over number four is going to be both. Yeah. Clear on our chance. Ball going through his hands as he stretched over the wicket to collect. Over number four. 43. He was skidding and rolling already. Down again, 44. 44 for one. Plays it into the outside. Youngster stops and he's got a chance for a run out. Missed again. Sardin did not collect cleanly. He, he should be. 44. Allows that one goes through faster delivery. Young Prentice is the batsman. Yes, so for the under 17 youth team. And up and rise on it beautifully. Dabs it into the offside. And they're looking to get what it won't be there. At this time, youngster fielded cleanly. So 45 it is. Here comes Sardine, passes on by Mucky. Short delivery, flashing and missing his James. That was a quickish delivery. See if he gets serious, he would put some, some challenge to the batters. So let's see what will he do this time around. Yeah. Down the leg side, short delivery. And wide, so 46 for one. Over number four. Here comes Sardin into ball to James. On the pads, tries to flick it off. Goes down the leg side again. Oh, thank you, 50 for one. Oh, Sardin. Short delivery. Uh, trying to bounce out the youngster, but he needs to focus on his line. His line is off target, drifting down the leg side. Here yeah, they go. He's going to go around the wicket this time. Really be able to change that line. His mode of direction, and he plays uh, into the offside there. Foolish delivery. And just a run. <laughs> it was high, shoulder height. <laughs> 51. Not a long over for him. And the youngster takes a lovely catch indeed. Prentice has gone. Slow delivery from Sardine. The youngster, not short mid wicket, came in, threw himself forward, and took a lovely catch indeed. Some class being shown here in the, in the fielding. Well, well, well. Any comments, Curtis? A superb catch. Definitely a superb catch. Disappointment there for Dimari. He was batting very well indeed. But I think he was undone by a slow ball by Sadi. 
Very smart delivery indeed from Sardine. Changing his mode of direction, bowling a slow ball. He's been bowling short and fast, but he out, out. Yeah, Sardine comes, bowl to Carl. Carl flashing and missing the ball, goes over the stump. It's the end of the over. Over number four. We're going to have Maddie coming into the attack. I'm not too sure about the arm. Last time I saw him, his arm wasn't totally straight. But we'll see what happens here today. And he'll be bowling to Deshaun. Here goes Maddie. Outside the off stump. That should be a wide. Wide signal by the umpire. So it's going to be Mari once more moving in now to bowl to Deshaun James. James very relaxed here. And Wise has been shifted into the onside. Herbert pulling his field, sending John now straight out long on. So it's going to be Mari moving in now to bowl way outside the off stump once more. That's another wide. Wide umps. Umpire didn't signal. That's interesting. Well, here he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Deshaun. This time he's cutting it into the offside. Man runs a pass from point. Picks it up and gets the return in. Now, Herbert marshalling his forces. Carl, it is, will be taking strike for Mari. There he goes, moves in out. To go. He's swinging at that. And that was a quick delivery. He got the bottom edge of the bat and went to a leg slip position. The keeper came across. They got one. So that brings James back into strike. Mari moved in now to bowl. He's swinging at that. And he's bowled. He's clean bowled. James has been bowled by Mari. So it seems that Mari he still has an issue with the bent arm. And he's sending down, them down quickly as he moves in now to bowl to AJ Hendrickson. Stuck on the pad. Again, he's rushing it through the eyes of Mari. That ends the over. Well, the birthday boy Wise is coming into the attack. So. You're going to see what the bird, the boy Wise does. He's all in white. Here he goes. Oh, he doesn't deliver. A little bit of psychology here by Wise. Took off his, his broad white hat, gave it to umpire Mucky. So Wise it is. Moves in now to bow. Loops it up. He's swinging at that. His car beaten outside the off stump. Some folks ask him for a wide. But, um... He was swinging and missing. The umpire under some pressure from the spectators here as well. Loops it again. He's so oh, well stopped by Wise. Oh, brilliant work by Wise. Oh, my goodness. He stopped it. Staggered him for real, but he stopped it. Here he goes again. Loops it. He swings like that. Gets a bit of a bat on They should be looking for Tony and John. Here's John racing in. And I'm saying racing in loosely. John finally reaches it. Misses it. John has done it. <laughs> well, well, well. John had some difficulty finding the ball. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Oh, they're enjoying this. They're really having fun here, the spectators. Wise moves in once more, loops it, here's wings into that, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone, into the mango tree at the far end, a big six. Two.
So well, it's going to be Maddie, who is really throwing them in fast, I could tell you. And Carl with the big swing has to be careful here. So, having some issues set in the field. So, gonna be wise. Sorry, not wise. Oh my goodness. Hits him on the foot. Go back, go back. And Motto's back for two. I think it's going to be Vice. Hey. He goes once more. Moved in now to go to Cal. He said down towards Long On. The man is racing across a sardine. The little youngster comes across. There's a slight bubble, but they'll get one. One more to the total. In once more. He swings into that. He's going to be out caught. AJ goes caught. Wicked keeper. Uh, John just relaxing there. So, new man in is. Beaten there, he's swinging. I think the pace of Maddie is creating a problem here. He's really flinging him in. The arm is not coming right over, but I don't think there's a big um, rule against throwing here. Again, struck on the body, and that ends the over. Wise it is. Don't you know? He doesn't bowl. A little psychology here from Wise. You ready? <laughs> He's having fun, playing a cat and mouse game. Again, he does not deliver. This time he takes his hat off. <laughs> Running away from the big hit of Carl. Carl pulls away. Yeah. Cat and mouse game. Remember the sun is going away, guys. It's only 12 overs. Ensure you look wisely, yeah. And he, ah, takes up the outer... Edge drops in front of the keeper. Walters. Wise. Slow arm. According to an old English cricketer, Lollipops goes down to the imported player. He feels well and almost a run out. Uh, no, no. Sixty-nine it is for four. We're in over number eight. Wise from the hard times road end. Oh the gut side. It goes through to the keeper. A wide signal, so it's seventy for, for four. Seventy for four. So it's bowling from the western end. Yeah. And this time slot. Got onto it nicely go, and quickly. Go, go. They're gonna look go. for two. Would they get the two? Oh, the two batsmen collided. The two batsmen collided. Both looking at the ball while watching. So they've gone on to 72. 72 for four. Shot. The youngster tried to get down, but it's gone through his legs. Oh, they're picking out the imported player. <laughs> 73 days for two, for four, over number eight. In comes Hobart now to ball to Hamilton, flight of delivery. Hamilton hits it down there, and the fielder gets behind it nicely. And uh, picked up another run, some 74 for four, in over number eight. It's the end of the eighth over, 74 for four. <laughs> The maximum overs allotted is three for bowler. Played it nicely into the offside there at Hamilton. Runs on the stroke. So it goes on to 75. 75 it is being over number nine. 
Seventy-five-four. Four. Over number nine. What will Carl do? He hits it into the offside. Just top onside. Sorry, tapped it over the infield. Brings Hobart off of the. I call him the the senior citizen Hobart. And over number nine, it goes on to seventy-six. Here it goes. That is delivery. Drives it into the onside again. Robert gets in. That's Keith. And he feels. And it's 76 for six. 76 for four. 77. Here he goes. On to the pad. Tucks it off. It's at the outer edge of the bat. Uh, Walters, the keeper, runs to collect. The uh, bowler goes down to the retrieving end. And so they've gone on. 79 it is. For four. In goes. Oh, flashing. Comes off of the outer edge. The outfield is rather slow. And they're trying to come for two runs. They do get it. And it is going to be 79. Run, 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 run. Come on, playing around there. Trying to effect a run out. So it's 80. 80 for four in over number nine. Yes. And there is no run. Good ball indeed. It's the end of the ninth over. So it's 82 for four. There's a chance for the team to make 100 if they can. Looking to get under it, but it goes over him into the mango tree. And it's six runs. So 88. 88. In comes Sardine into Boulder Carl. Carl Williams onto the back foot, punches it into the offside, brings uh, Herbert Keith off the cover boundary, on the arms it in, looking to get the second run, Carl almost running himself out. So it's 89, it is. Arden is going to be bowling to Hamilton this time. He comes from that western end, the mango tree end, the main road end, and he's bowled him. Right on target, beautiful delivery, and gets the wicket, no, Posad. They've been holding him back. Passard states, take it, settles in now. Here comes Sardine into ball to Passard. Wide delivery. It goes on to 90 for five. And over number 10. 90 for five. Here it is. Sardine. Waits for Passard to settle. Comes away from that western end. That delivery tops it down of the body oh, and to the outside. Oh, oh, and they get go, down go. there to John. Yeah, but John is quick to get it in this time. So, 91 it is. 91 it is. In over number. Sardine, right at delivery. And they're getting a single here, a cheeky single. He came down on the ball very hard indeed, just able to sneak a single. The ball went no far, far than the pop increase. So it's 92 for five, over number 10. Sardine comes into ball to Passard, short delivery. Passard gets into it, turns it into the onside, goes down to the boundary, brings Martlin off the boundary. She picks up, her arm is not so strong, but they have gotten two. Uh, 94, it goes. For five. Looks mm. so like the hundred will be in, in the, its end of tenth over. End of the tenth. Ninety-four for five. Seventh over, the penultimate over. It's twelve overs per team. 12 overs per side, as we are 90, 95. Ah, down the leg side, goes on to 96 for five. 
everybody ranging up to catch the fifty dollar catch. He slaps it into the onside as Carl looking to hustle too. Sardin gets it and sends one bounce into the wicket keeper Walters. Uh, two runs hard. So 97, I think it's for five. We're over number 11. Here goes Martlin into ball to Carl. Carl got under this one, comes off the outer edge. The, the, the batsman running very, very weary. <laughs> it's hot out there. He just got some refreshment and gone on to 98. Oh, it is 98 for 5. Over number 11. It, oh! Beaten by the flight. And the slowish delivery too. Trying to hit that ball so hard. Almost trained himself in trying to get under that ball. Here goes Mertlin. Away from us. Away from the community centre end. Like the delivery. He gets that far. Beats wise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know Why sticks out a hand like a traffic officer as if to guide the ball past him? <laughs> 96. Here we go. Five. Here it is. Final ball. Oh, comes off the outer portion of the bat again. This time, rebounding from the keeper. First one went wide of him. This one went straight to him. And they've gotten on, gone on to 99. 99 it is for five. There are calls for the ball to be hit over the boundary. And again, beautiful ball. And it's the end of the 11th over. 99 it is for five. <laughs> 100 dollar catch. Whichever one. 99 it is. Final over. And Keith, who opened the bowling, is going to finish. It's going to finish. Final over. There's 12 of us per team. They're still jostling with the field placing. Big Carl is still there, he's batted beautifully. They're expecting him to hit some boundaries, but that wasn't to be. In the over before, let's see what he will do in this over now. And Keith is not a, a bowler who's going to give him all of that. And this one, he beats him. All ends up, flashing and missing. It's Carl. <laughs> the guys are going around the perimeter of the boundary to see if they can effect a catch. Ball is being bowled from the west side. He goes down this time. Almost there. Almost. Second ball. Keith Hubbard is bowling. Nice medium. Shot is delivery and he keeps a little bit low. Flashing and missing again is Carl. Final over, uh, 99 for 5. In comes Keith Hubbard into ball, does delivery, slaps it into the offside, comes off the outer portion of the bat. The youngster gets there before Wise, uh, Wise in slow motion, and trying to pick the ball up, uh, going down like a masquerade in limbo. But the youngster finished the fielding. They've gotten two, so 101 it is. Slap again out the outer portion. The youngster gets there now. Wise has been moved, so only a single has been had. Oh. oh. And Keith bubbling the ball. There was a chance for a run out. So they've gotten two runs, 103 for five. Final over. Hundred and three days. 
for five. Final over. Keep short, wide. It goes to 104 now. Uh, Keith has been able to restrict them from getting those swashbuckling shots on. Bowling nice and tight. In comes Keith. Yeah. Carl comes across the wicket and forcing the bowler to go down the leg side. The, ball, the bowler was smart, followed the batsman, but the umpire does not give it because the, the batsman moved to the right side to try to effect the shot and the wide signal. 104 it is. God is a reasonable score, a wonderful one to defend. Certainly a good score on the tins, and um, I'll be starting with some youngsters, and we'll see if the youngsters can hold their own against this team. So we're hoping to restrict them for about 35 maximum. <laughs> horses, if we wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Don't underestimate these guys. They can strike a ball. But let us see what will happen. It's the break. 105 it is. They're going to need to get 104. Well, the imported cricketer is here. He's the impact player for the FRS team, the new team on the block. And John is going to take first strike. <laughs> the young, the young bowler is his, is who? Jay then will be bowling to John. So Jay to Jay. So we got a Jay Jay com, com combination here. Yes. Jaren's taking his guard rather meticulously, ensuring that he has the right mark. He got the point in his stance now to receive from young Jaden. Close and flight of delivery. John playing and missing, almost got stumped there. <laughs> James is the keeper. <laughs> Here goes Jaden into ball. John hits it hard and high. Will he get but one bounce there to Forrester? They're off the mark. <laughs> uh, the spectators telling him to use his shoulders. <laughs> so one run. The impact player, what will he do? What will he do? And he hits it. Oh, uh, yes, it drops between the players. <laughs> Gets off the mark, so it's two. Oh, the crowd enjoying it. It's been a fun filled day today. Ah, he, he gives a high five. He pumps the air. He's off the mark. John slaps it into the outside, and MJ is there. Here goes Jaden into bowl to John. John has bowled him, flashing and missing. He's clean bowl, so the first wicket goes. <laughs> he gives he gives the, the keeper. The bat to refix the stumps. That's so the wicket has been refixed, placed, and John comes away. That he didn't, he will smooth and say he didn't make not. <laughs> Sardine is gonna go down. Remember, of, and he slaps it into the outside there at Sardine, the left hander. It brings Prentiss uh, off the boundary, and they have had a run, so it's three for one at the end of over number one. Uh, a member of the youth, um, it's the youth department, community and youth department. Okay.
Uh, and I asked her dad about her the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't remember her name, but I taught them at, at the preschool in, in Charlestown, herself and her brother. Yeah. Three number. That's number three, the over. And we have got it, what, five for one? Things and he swings it past the keep. Come on, run on Sardine, run the man runs. So, over number one now comes to an end. So, who is going to be bold now? That's five for one. It is going to be Prentice. He'll be bowling to the impact player. Flashing and missing. Uh, keeper does not collect cleanly. So score goes on to what? Six. Uh, flashing and missing, but in baseball style. You could tell he's an American. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Prentice, the ball to him. He hits it nice, comes off the outer portion where Bat is running away to the third man boundary. Will they get it? And he's going to get two runs. He reaches in. Yes. <laughs> Shows a semblance of fitness there. Looking, I think he's gone on to four now. <laughs> so he's getting, he'll be happy that he has had a wonderful day for himself. He feels that well, and now he's batting, I'm sure, satisfactorily to himself. Ah, he nice pulls it into the onside. Good. Yeah, he hustles for the first one, he settles now. <laughs> yes. It's going to be sad in the left hander. He'll be batting, facing Prentice. In comes Britain. Oh, drives. Comes off the inner portion of the bat. Brings Carl down to the fine leg boundary. And they've got no run. Nine, and then number over number two. An adjustment in the field. Baller stops in his tracks. He goes back now to the western end. Comes in to bowl to the English. Dead ball signal. Prentice. Uh, oh. Trying to tuck it into the onside. Ball bounced over the stumps into the keeper's hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's signaling to the, <laughs> to the bowler to let it come a little lower. Ah, it's it this time. <laughs> yes, 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 brings. <laughs> oh, he's having his fun, he's having his fun. 
and yeah. number three, he flashes, comes off the inner portion of the bat. He stands his ground. He was looking for a single, but he did not venture too far. Held his ground. Jaden, the ball to the impact player. And uh, flash and miss. Yeah, uh, hits it. Oh, yeah. And dropped in front of Smitten. <laughs> he comes too far on. Yeah. <laughs> they are giving away tickets. Asking for 10 queens from Gingerland. Who are oh, Miss Culture? Wide delivery. Gone on to 12. 12. Uh, just had a single already. So it's 12 for one. Yeah. It's it hard and high when this gets under it. Oh, too casual. Oh, my goodness. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately. Clap <laughs> it into the onside, brings the field off the long arm boundary. Collects it on the bounce. He's a left hander. He gets a, a sharp return in. But they have had a single. So it was 12. 12 for two. Two wickets gone already, got three. Two, two. It's 12 for two. And they flashes and miss it. It's 12 for two. And over number three. End of over number three. 12 for two. Yeah, we had. Okay, three. But the gentleman opened with with John, and then who else got out besides John and him? It's two, you know. The two opening batsmen gone. John went in the first over. It's two. Yes, he did a good job. <laughs> yes, has to be happy, yes. He fielded well and he, he, he made runs, flashing and missing. Yes, Hardy in his apprentice is now into his action. He's bowling to a serious batsman. So he's bowling seriously. Short, sharp delivery, straight through to the keeper, James. He's bowling from the west. Apprentice in his second over, over number four. It's 12 for two. Comes in, starting coming down on it. There's no, he's appealing. <laughs> uh, yeah, 23. Oh, yes. <laughs> Goes away into bowl to Sardine. Left hand there. And he strokes it into the outside. They run for a single. That's 24. <laughs> Sardine is playing around a little bit too much for me. He's playing with these fielders. He knows better. He's causing the crowd to get their heart attacks. Short and sharp. About three, four of them one time in and over. Flashing and missing. And wide. And they're gone for one, they're looking for two. Uh, anxiously trying to get the ball in. So that's an extra three runs there. So 26, I think it is for two. Slaps it beautifully into the offside. 
brings more than trade over the, 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 the stamps. But Sardin again playing around with the fielders. Making them believe that they had a chance. But he just eases in. Right. He's saying three, so. Left arm over the wicket. Short delivery that's going to be signalled. And the ball and the free hit. And move. <laughs> the court is displeased with the umpire. This one is a wide delivery pass. Is the keeper? It's running away to the boundary. They collect it now. They have gotten two. So two to one. That's three. He's going to go between the umpire and the stumps, the bowler. In goes ball to Sardin. Sardin flashes and misses. Good delivery there. Keep it there, keep it there. That's the cry of the crowd, keep it there. <laughs> Oh, over-excited, over-exuberant. <laughs> yeah, so, ball goes through to the keeper. Yes. Two wickets, yes. He plays and misses the end of over number one. Five. Five. He's going good arm, um, lion skin. Yeah. Yeah, he's got delivery. Slats it into the cover area. It goes for six. So it's a 41, I think that would be. Here goes Lion Skin. That's the delivery. Slaps it this time into the leg side. Again over the boundary. Oh, four runs this time. One bounce. Yeah, the boys are running for the ball. <laughs> that is good, that is good. Yeah. Again, another six. He's having a field day. They dropped the money now. Oh, that's a different person. Different source says $20. There's a catch for $50 and there's a catch for $100. So that's an individual one. That is what they said the last time, 50 and 100. Now it's dropped. But this comes on an individual. Laps again. This time he's taken. Eventually gets a wicket. So that's the third wicket now. So the score is what? 41, I think, somewhere there. Or three. Captain.
much to answer those uh, lovely questions. I mean, easy. Uh, uh, when you pick it, pick up the creature. Um, um, when it takes place. How about you? Thank you. I can't get the support to give someone in the call center. Lion skin, come be born to the right handed key. The new batsman. Light the delivery key, tucks it into the onside looking for a quick single. But Sardine is not interested. Sends him back. Yes. It's the end of number number four. So it's Carl. He's going to. Uh, this time, this time, it's all the way. Six. Daddy, no. Now getting serious. They need a plethora of them. A bucket full of them. Oh, comes off the outer portion. Last beat the keeper. The keeper was ducking away, expecting the ball to go in the offside side, coming at him at the last moment. Oh, he could only just take evasive action. Just a single. Over number six. Over number five. We are here at the Village Premier League held at the corn mill, the corn mill, whatever you want to call it, the hard times ground. Yeah. Looking to get 105 is the new team. The masquerade leader. <laughs> no lovely stop by the keeper, but they have gotten away with a wide and a second one as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Here he goes. Naps it. My goodness. It boots up on the field. <laughs> he was taking the explosive action. And all the hands got out in time to stop him. <laughs> Getting angry now. He needs to get those boundaries going for his team. Carl goes away into bowl to Sardine. Sardine slaps it back past the bowler, brings the youngster off the boundary, and a single has been had. At 38 it is, I think. Over number seven, isn't it? Or five? Five. Carl into bowl. Okay, flashing and missing. That's a wide. <laughs> Slaps it beautifully into the outside. Goes Keith. Uh, he picks up a single. And of number, yes, I thought so. 58 it is. For three. 12. Thank you very much. <laughs> Morton comes into ball to the eighth over. And Keith swings and misses. Comes off of the body. 58 it is for three in over number eight. 
That is a signal into his fielders, tell them, look out, it's coming. <laughs> Straight mid wicket, deep mid wicket. Deep backward point, deep backward square, sorry. He strokes it into the outside, finds the man a straight cover, shot, and there is no run. We've got a, th a backward point, a deep extra cover, cover, straight cover, a wideish, long on, and long off, and Hobart driving and missing. And we have deep mid wicket and deep square. That's the completion of the field there. Morton ball into the field that he has set, trying to lure the batsmen to get the ball into the deep. See if he can make a catch of it. And here comes Morton from the West End. Keith Herbert turns it onto the onside. A uh, real cricket shot. Runs on the stroke. The score moves on by one. The ones won't hurt Jets team. They made 104. I call it masquerade team. How are you, sir? All right. Adin, flashing and missing. So the runs have been halted by Morton. Comes into ball to left hand. Sardin, Sardin drives straight back. Fielder comes around in Prentice, who fields one bounce. Restricted the batsman to a single. And the score moves on by one. The end of over number eight. So 60 for three at the end of the eighth over. So four more to go. It is days to lose, Jets. As it really needs some big hitting here, some swashbuckling hitting, a bucket full of boundaries. Maximums and fours. Some runs for them. Now, laps it. Fast delivery gets. Will it go to the boundary? The youngster comes around, collects beautifully. It should have been a four, but he really gathered himself quickly. Hustled around the boundary line, picked it up, and they've picked up two. So 62 it is for three in over number nine. Yeah. Adin. Oh, flashing and missing. Good ball there from Elroy Kelly. Elroy Forrester Kelly. Again, stifling the batsmen from getting the run, stopping them from going on a run spree. That's all along the ground. He beats the ball. Yes, by sets the fielders. Beautiful shot indeed. He picks up a boundary. So 66 it is for three. Morton comes back a bit, trying to see if he could cut off that stroke. And he's bowled him this time. He bowled him this time. He pushed it closer to him, Sardine dancing and completely missing. And it hits the target. I was saying to Judy, this was the way the old cricketers dressed in yesteryear, short white and top white. It was the short pants in those days. Oh, Skelly into ball too. Wise Hobart and he bowled him. A golden duck for White. The bought the bought the man today. Yes, yes, yes. He's still hanging around, wondering what happened. But he got a mystery ball. <laughs> Elroy Forrester is as serious as a judge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, 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 he's giving the ball back to the, the, the umpire. <laughs> the 
Oh, Walters goes into the wicket to bat. He has on no shoes. It's a team that Keith said he had organized and they would come here in the multicolored dressing. He said it's cultural armor time, so he'd want a, a multicolored outfit to represent the country and his team. <laughs> so we've got what, seven wickets down now? Kelly has gotten two wickets. Walters plays it. He's, he's known to be a cricketer. And it's the end of number eight, number nine. Flashing and missing there. It's a left hander who bowled from up here. What's his name? Yeah. Sixty-six it is. They says five, so I'm gonna go with them. Here comes from the west. Shot. Keep flashing and missing. Uh, it's wide signal, so sixty-seven it is. It's a cool afternoon at the moment. The sun is hiding behind the clouds now. The left hander from the west, from the world to Keith. Hits it hard and high. Will he be out? Carl takes number eight. Oh, I say eight. I'm, they're going to say six. So let me go with them. Little left hander. And they look like they're going to crowd him. I think that's rather unfortunate. I hope he, 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 dis, he dissatisfies them. What satisfaction they're looking for, I don't know, because the youngster, I'm sure, can bat. Turns it into the onside and then he gets a run. Now Walter should be running. Oh, too late. Turns it into the onside. So 68 it is. <laughs> oh. It is the left hand they'll be bowling to Walters, who kept wicket earlier for his team. QT Walters, he slaps it past the bowler, and they're looking for one. Will they go for two? 69 it is. Yes, the left under. Wide, 70 it is now for six. <laughs> Here in the left under, come to ball to the left handed batsman, he drives it back down to the bowler, and there is no run. We're in over number 10. Oh, flashing and missing, the ball beats the keeper. He's going to get an extra here. End of over number 10. So 71 it is. Playing for the new team out of Rollins. Like a delivery, flashes and misses. And there is no run. No. Oh. Like a delivery, plays it into the house, beat the man there, <laughs> chilling me down. <laughs> Move forward, short leg area. Oh my goodness, Carl sends AJ away and he goes into the spot. MJ, AJ is over here, MJ is in there. We're a crowded field, and young youngster flashing and missing. Over number 11. <laughs> Ball following MJ. Try to make a catch of it. 
around the wicket. Elroy first to Kelly. Ball to the left-handed batsman, slatter delivery, and gets it to a spars. Seal is mid off in Carson Horton. And uh, there is no run. Well crowded. One, two, three, four, five around the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, including the keeper. End of over in number 11. And it is 71 for seven, looking to get 105. 104 made by Jets. Batting out their overs without being bowled out. So, final over is going to be bowled by Prentice. Uh, young under 17 player. I think he's under 15. He might be a border in 15 years by now, I think. So, it is Prentice who's bowling from the west. And his balls. He flashes it into the outside, goes into the leg side. Who's going to get it? Okay, MJ takes the catch. And he could keep A shadow. You know, when you when you you in feeling <laughs> slow in getting to the ball. One hand on the ground and he's trying to feel his way to the next one. And the youngster flashes and misses, he drops in front of the keeper. Seventy one. Somebody gone, I think. He's running back. It's a final over. Over number 12. Jets are in the driver's seat. Taking this one home easily. First full game for the season. Flashing and missing is the young man. This morning, the earlier game was forfeited. Easterns never fielded a full team, so Bushwackers would have gotten those points. Yeah, so we are hoping that next week all teams will come on out. They did not come in time did not have a full team so it had passed two o'clock one hour behind there was a cut-off time and they only had five players so Prentice bowling well to complete for Jets to take a handsome victory as Morton is willing the boys on keeping them motivated yeah the new team oh my goodness. <laughs> Almost taking off his own toe. It's the final ball. It's the end of the match. And so, <laughs> it was on the wicket. So, didn't got not go, did not go off the strip. So. <laughs> 71 it is. Captain calls the team into a victory talk. 71 all out. The new team.